Alright everyone, I'm here to give you my WWE main event review for December 3rd, 2014. Uh, this was actually the last wrestling show of the year. And I actually originally wasn't going to watch this show because I heard that Santino Morell is going to be on it. I wasn't a huge fan of him really ever. So I was like, nah, I'm not going to watch this show. And then it, I was uh, hearing that it was good. I actually heard that it was good. So I was like, oh, screw it. I'm going to watch it. And it actually ended up being really good. Main event was actually good this week. I might actually start watching main event if it's going to be this good. Maybe I'll watch it next week. Well, this week. Um, the commentators, uh, JBL, Michael Cole, and Booker T. So I actually was kind of happy we got them on commentary because I really would enjoy Booker T and JBL on commentary together. So I thought that was awesome. And then we got the Cutting Edge Peep Show hosted by Edge and Christian. Before I go on with who the guests were, they talked about what happened to them when, um, they were, uh, you know, what happened to them on Raw when Rollins was threatening to stop curve stomp edge through the into the briefcase i think they said they can have like a lawsuit and pretty much own the company they gonna they talked about it more last night on smackdown and when i re review smackdown i will talk about it but we had adam rose as the guest he comes out and he's wondering what's up with all the rose buds like uh do they just follow all his orders and stuff and uh adam rose says that the rose buds follow him they lead him uh they will do anything he says and then, uh, Edge and Christian says they want to pose with the Rosebuds. And one of them had a stunt, his stunt double, which I think was Sami Zayn. He looked like Sami Zayn. I think it was Sami Zayn was a Rosebud this week, but I could be wrong. And Adam Rose leaves, and he tells the Rosebuds to leave. He doesn't want him to do the five-second poses. Um, but they do it anyways, and I thought that was awesome stuff. It was awesome to see Edge and Christian on the show, too. Because the 40 Triple H and Stephanie McMahon are not going to be in charge until Monday. Um... And then we actually we got an NXT match. We got Sasha Banks versus Charlotte. I was actually surprised that they showed this match. Um, I think this is awesome just for one fact that the match was good. And it gives uh, the NXT uh, women or superstars the, to uh, shine on the uh, roster. I think that's awesome that, uh, this, that they get this opportunity to shine on a big crowd like a main event. They should do this all the time. Have NXT superstars wrestle on main event. The match was pretty good. Sasha Banks hit the um, backstabber and hit, got her in a submission move. I forget the name of it. And then um, Charlotte ends up winning with natural selection. But the match was good. I don't think it was as good, though, as the other two matches they've had. Um, Santino Morell is backstage. He's hosting a party. Nobody comes because they're depressed that the authority um, is back. But Eric Rowan comes, so that means his career is probably going down the toilet. And later on, I was going to mention that Our truth comes up. And... Uh, I guess uh, it's a big sad party. I don't know. Then we get Justin Gabriel versus Titus O'Neil. WWE really screwed up with these two guys. Justin Gabriel, like I said, they pretty much made a job of since uh, after the core, which consisted of Wade Barrett and uh, Heath Slater. And uh, Justin Gabriel's been nothing. He's pretty much been in the same spot. He either jobs on the main roster or he jobs on NXT. Um... And then Titus O'Neil, the he has the look. I think he has the good, the look to become a future WWE World Heavyweight Champion. But they keep screwing up with him. But um, the match was okay. Titus O'Neil went with Clash of the Titus to Justin Gabriel off the top turnbuck. I'm not really surprised Titus O'Neil went over because they're a little bit more behind him um, than um, Justin Gabriel. And then we get Golden Stardust versus Jimmy and Jay the Usos. Um, this was actually a pretty good match. Uh, one of the Usos, well, Jake Uso, goes to, uh, go off the top, go off the barricade and Stardust counters with, like, a disaster kick. And then, um, Golden Stardust dominate the Usos for a while, and then, well, dominate Jake Uso for a while, and then Jimmy or Jay Uso get the hot tag. He's going off on Golden Stardust. Uh, at one point, um... Jimmy or Jay Uso went, did the splash in the corner, and then Goldust ended up doing a scoop slam, and we thought he was going to get in there, but uh, Jimmy or Jay Uso kicked out, and then eventually um, Jake Uso hits the splash on uh, Stardust for the win, and, they, be t and uh, they win, and it was actually pretty good stuff. I actually did like main event. You got a good ed cutting edge peep so segment. 
I liked the uh, match between Charlotte and Sasha Banks, and I liked the main event between the Usos and Golden Stardust. So I thought this was pretty good stuff. If you definitely want to check out main event, this would be the time to do it. So uh, that's pretty much it, and I'm going to be back next week to do another main event review. Remember to subscribe to this channel if you haven't, and that's pretty much it, guys, and see you later.